I'm Nicole Burley. It is Wednesday, March 1st. This is News Nation Rush Hour. The Alec Murdoch double murder trial is now in its final stages. Just moments ago, the prosecution wrapped up their closing arguments. The defense will give its tomorrow. Earlier today, the jury had a rare chance to visit the crime scene on Murdoch's Moselle property. You're looking at video taken during the hour. The jury getting to see the exact place where Paul and Maggie's bodies were discovered. Senior national correspondent Brian Inton is live outside the courthouse. Brian, the prose prosecution finishing really just moments ago. Yeah, just a few minutes ago, uh, Nicole, the prosecution finished their uh, closing argument. The judge decided that they would be finished today. Obviously, it's been a long day. It's been a long six weeks, but an especially long day for the jury here because it all started uh, this morning uh, with that field trip out to Moselle, uh, the place where the murders happened, uh, and it ended with these closing arguments. The defendant was the one person who was living a lie. It has been called the trial of the century in the South Carolina low country, and the twisted story of power, privilege, and murder has gripped the nation. After six weeks, closing arguments in the Alec Murdoch trial. Prosecutor Creighton Waters says Murdoch first shot his son Paul in the head and then killed his wife Maggie. She was running to her baby, heard that shot, and was running to her baby when she got mowed down by the only person that we have conclusive proof was at that scene just minutes before and who lied about that very fact until he could no longer do it to you last week. The prosecution hammering home the point that the rich and successful lawyer killed his wife and son to garner sympathy and distract from a slew of financial crimes, including stealing millions from his clients. The pressures on this man were unbearable and they were all reaching a crescendo the day his wife and son were murdered by him. This morning, the jury arrived at the Moselle property where the murders happened to view the scene. The jurors were in a van escorted by law enforcement. And first, they viewed the dog kennels where Paul and Maggie Murdoch's bodies were discovered. Then, in an unexpected move, the jury was taken across the street from Moselle to a wooded area that's near a shooting range and duck pond. It's unclear what led the jurors to that spot, but the judge says the jury was not allowed to ask any questions, only allowed to walk around and view the properties. And it was really interesting, Nicole, to be out there at Moselle this morning when the jury showed up to the area uh, where the murders happened. They had the chance to walk around. Uh, they were there for about an hour, then came back here to the courthouse. That is when the uh, closing argument started with the prosecution. Again, the jury noticeably looked tired today. It was such a long day. So the judge decided uh, everyone would go home just a little while ago. Tomorrow morning, uh, the defense will give their closings. Then there'll be a rebuttal from the prosecution. And then finally, uh, the deliberations will begin. Nicole? They will begin. All right, Brian, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.